now let us start with the second problem on the helical gear here we have the question design a pair of helical gears to transmit a power of 20 kilowatt from a shaft running at 1500 rpm to a parallel shaft to be run at 450 rpm suggest suitable surface hardness for the gear pair so this is the given problem in this given problem we can see that a very minimum data is given like we have power to be transmitted 20 kilowatt speed of the first shaft that is we can consider the speed of the pinion as 1500 rpm and uh, speed of the second shaft that is the uh, speed of the gear we can consider as a 450 rpm we have only these three data through which we we have to find or we have to suggest suitable surface hardness for the gear pair so rest of the design parameters here we have to assume it to the proper proportion and we have to get the solution so this is how it is different from the previous problem so let us see what are the things to be assumed and how to carry with the design procedure so let us assume the first one pressure angle in the normal plane alpha n is equal to 20 degree full depth 20 degree full depth the next assumption is from table number 12.8 that is for surface factor assuming medium shock 8 to 10 hours duty per day so from this table number 12.8 we have service factor cs is equal to 1.5 next we have helix angle beta is equal to 23 degree next <coughs> pinion material as 0.4% carbon steel untreated so this material property we can get it from table number 12.8 22 and uh, the same material we have used in the previous problem also so from this table we have the design stress as 70 newton per mm square next to get the value of cw from table number 12.21 let us assume scant lubrication but regular inspection from table number 12.21 we have the value of cw as 1.25 next to select the number of minimum number of teeth on pinion to avoid the interference for 20 degree full depth refer the table number 12.4a and uh, there we can select as minimum number of teeth on the pinion to avoid interference required is 18 so 18 number of teeth is required on the pinion next we know that velocity ratio i is equal to n1 by n2 which can be written as z2 by z1 and which can be written as d2 by d1 therefore number of teeth on gear z2 is equal to n1 by n2 and will bring z1 on this side n1 by n2 into z1 so here n1 is 1500 rpm n2 is 450 rpm and z1 we have selected as 18 so this is 18 so after calculation we will get number of teeth on gear z2 is equal to 60 the next procedure is finding the formative number of teeth on pinion so we have zv1 is equal to 
z1 by cos cube beta this equation we have already studied in the previous problem also zv1 is equal to z1 by cos cube beta so z1 is 18 that is number of teeth on the pinion is 18 divided by cos cube 23 helix angle beta we have taken as 23 degree so with this we have formative number of teeth on pinion as 23.078 similarly formative number of teeth on gear we have zv2 is equal to z2 by cos cube beta we have calculated number of teeth on gear as 60 that is z2 so 60 divided by cos cube 23 which is equal to we get as formative number of teeth on gear as 76.926 next we have levis form factor for 20 degree full depth from equation number 12.5 d so the form factor we have to find it for both pinion as well as gear let us first find it for the pinion form factor for pinion y1 is equal to 0 0.154 minus 0 0.912 divided by zv1 so this is the equation what we have from equation number 12.5 d substituting in this equation the value of zv1 the formative number of teeth on the pinion 23.078 so y1 is equal to 0.154 minus 0 0.912 divided by 23.078 we get y1 as 0 0.11448 that is Levi's form factor for pinion similarly for the gear Levi's form factor for the gear 0 0.154 minus 0 0.912 and here instead of zv1 we have to substitute the value of zv2 the value of zv2 we have 76.926 so here substituting value of zv2 we get formative number of teeth for sorry formative device form factor for the gear as 0 0.14214 next step is to identify the the material for the gear to select the gear material let us equate sigma 1 y1 is equal to sigma 2 y2 so this implies sigma 1 value we have as 0 0.1148 and so, sorry this is y1 value y1 value we have as 0 0.11448 into sigma 1 sigma 1 is the uh, the allowable stress or the design stress for the pinion material as 70 newton per mm square that we obtained from the table which is equal to sigma 2 as it is into y2 value as 0 0.14214 the only unknown is sigma 2 so calculating it for sigma 2 we get sigma 2 as 56.056 newton per mm square now from table number 12.22 selecting the nearest value of sigma 2 we have cast steel class b medium as a gear material sigma 2 we have 50 mega newton per meter square or which is equal to 50 newton per mm square so this material we can select it for gear which is the nearest value to the calculated value so which is that material it is cast steel class b medium is the material name this as a gear material next we have to identify 
which is the weaker member whether the pinion or the gear so for the pinion we have sigma 1 into y1 which is equal to sigma 1 is 70 into y1 is 0 0.11448 so we get sigma 1 y1 is equal to 8.0136 similarly for the gear we have sigma 2 y2 sigma 2 we have 50 newton per mm square that is 50 into y2 y2 we have 0 0.14214 0 0.14214 so we get sigma 2 y2 as 7.107 7. since sigma 1 y1 is greater than the sigma 2 y2 we identify gear as the weaker member therefore design should be based on the gear once we identify the weaker member the rest of the design procedure should be carried out based on the gear only and uh, design procedure is same as that of the first problem what we have solved on the helical gear so students are to follow the same procedure to obtain the end result that is suitable hardness for the gear pair please follow the procedure of the first problem and get the solution.